Spoiler alert! This is not an X and Y battle. Yeah, so I really haven't had time to actually work on my Pokemon X and Y and like get through the game and then so I could get a team ready. So it'll be a little bit before that happens, but that will happen at some point. Uh, but I do have a couple battles backed up. This is one that was just like, spoiler, I had it while I was in class because the class was boring and I had a com access to a computer. Anyway, I backed up the save file because, uh, well, as you can guess by the title, Lyleap is going to be somehow a pivot Pokemon in this game, or in this match. Uh, so Ninetales is going to go for the Pain Split, I go for the Earthquake. After Death Noir, obviously that Ninetales was a little bit bulky because Lyleap was taking lots of damage. Um, he's going to go for Sucker Punch, I guess, expecting to just flat attack. And then he's going to go for it again? I don't know why you would after your opponent shows that, hey, guess what? I have moves that aren't just attacking. So I'm not sure why he decided to uh, keep fighting there. Then he switches into Hoot Hoot to take the Focus Punch. Now, I question this a little bit. He could. Because as you see, he has a Sableye. I didn't know he had a Sableye. Um, but he could have used that to his advantage. Do not take any damage and, you know, be okay. I guess I'm behind a sub, though, so he couldn't, like, touch me. Because it is a Sableye, but... I don't know. It kind of seems like that you would switch to the Sableye, right? So, I'm confused by that. He goes for the Ice Punch, I guess, predicted me just not to go for the suck... Not go for an attacking move. He's correct, because I know I can take a hit from this, uh... For it, and obviously I don't want my sub to break, so I'm going to just go ahead and waste another substitute to go ahead and heal up. Now Victini comes in, uh, Psychic, and unfortunately because of that reflex, he doesn't take the 50% from Earthquake that he would have. I live by that clutch 4% though! Look at that! So it's a good thing I get my substitute up, because otherwise I wouldn't have lived by that clutch 4%. So now Victini uh, does kill him, does Noir, no big deal. I feel like Sandshrew could probably take a hit. And, uh, I go for the Earthquake. Sandshrew actually does a lot of damage, surprisingly. I guess, you know, level difference and Earthquake and Stab and all that. Go for the Rock Slide, doesn't quite heal the Cloister. It looks like he set up Toxic Spikes with the Cloister, so I guess it doesn't have Shell Smash. So, the Bleh! Shell Smash. Sorry. That was, that was probably the weirdest noise. That was like a Mario noise. It's boing! Anyway. Uh, finish it off the Cloister with Seed Flare. Good thing he did not have Ice Shard or else. Shaman Sky could have, uh, you know, been taken out. And, uh, I don't really have a move to attack Victini. So I had to go for a slash open for the flinch. Don't get it. Right in Sensino. Now he shows me uh, he has a Sableye, and that's where I question why didn't he ever bring it in earlier on the Dust Noir. So I bring in my, uh, Lyleap and get tricked a Choice Scarf, which... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, but go for the Giga Drain. And as you you can see, he he keeps recovering, and this is only regular poison, so I can outlive stuff. And he can't really status me, because I'm poisoned already. Get that lucky crit, too, and uh, get all his health back. So now he's going to keep recovering. See, I don't know what this kid was thinking. I don't know why he keeps recovering, because there's always a chance that I'm going to get a crit. There's also, you know, the fact that I have Giga Drinks, and he keeps using recover, and therefore, you know... Uh, I, all I'll outlive is recover and he won't have access to healing, basically. So now, uh, Victini's gonna come in. And, uh, Lyleep is going to go down, unfortunately. Lyleep was the pivot, though, be just to stall out some recoveries on the Sableye. So, I can safely bring in Tensino, because Tensino will be faster. Don't ask me how I somehow failed to KO. Probably min-max damage shenanigans there. That was probably, like, min-damage or something. Who knows? I didn't have Rock Blast, so I couldn't go for that. That's okay, because I have Mew, and uh, Mew also happens to have Rouge, so I could stall this out. He's obviously not going to go that scenario, and I, he doesn't have to, because I crit. I forgot about the crit. I really did, but yeah, hey, there's a quick Pokemon showdown battle. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'll get some X and Y battles up when I can. I do have some battles backed up, though, for you guys to enjoy, so those will be being posted, uh, I don't know. I don't know about daily, but sometime during the week, and yeah. Obviously, the screen faded to black, so it's a sign for me to be quiet and everything. Not really. I could talk, but I'm not going to. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. It was kind of more of a lulzy battle. And like I said, I did have it when I was in class. Uh, <laughs> no one snitch on me. Anyway, uh, see you guys later. Bye.